Good day, everyone, and welcome to another learning opportunity here on Lessons Made Easy. I am Teacher Bell, and today we will learn about Roman numerals. In many occasions, we come across symbols of Roman numerals in books, watches, museums, and other places. We try to analyze what it says and try to read the symbols. So in this video, I figured it would be a good idea to learn about Roman numerals. Let's get going. You would probably be wondering what each letter mean, how to interpret the values when there are many letters involved. Well, the Roman numerals consist of the seven letters in the English alphabet, which are written in capital letters like I, V, X, L, C, D, and M. Each of these letters has an equivalent value like, for example, I for 1, 5 for V, 10 for X, the value of L is 50, C is 100, D is 500, and M for 1000. There are some points to consider when reading and writing Roman numerals. Take note that the same letter can only be used three times in succession and their values are added. I repeat, only three times in a row. For example, I is for one, so you can use it three times to express number three. X is 10, so you can use it three times to show 30. C is for 100, you can use it three times to show 300. And M for 1000, which means you can express 3000 by using it three times in a row. But then you would probably be asking yourself, how do you write four? 40, 400, or even 4000. When reading and writing numbers in Roman numerals, remember that when a letter with a bigger value comes before a letter with a smaller value, the quantities are added. For example, letter X, which is 10, comes before I, which is only 1. Obviously, 10 is bigger than 1. In this case, we add, which means 10 plus 1 equals 11. Here is another one. L, which is 50, if written before V, which is 5, we add the values, we get 55. C is 100. If written before L, which is 50, it is like 100 plus 50, which altogether is 150. We write D for 500. If written before C, which is 100, we add the values to 600. Let's have two more examples. M for 1000, if written before D for 500, as we said earlier, when a letter with a bigger value comes before a letter with a smaller value, the quantities are added. So MD is equals to 1500. It means that if you have two M's or M and M in a row, the value is 2,000. Let's apply what we've learned by using multiple letters. But before we do so, be reminded that when a letter with a bigger value comes before a letter with a smaller value, the quantities are added. First one we have LXVI. Can you guess the number? If L is 50, X is 10, V is 5, and I is 1, add them all together, we have 66. Next, C, C, L, X. C is equals to 100, and we have two of them. L is 50, X is 10, and all together we have 260. What about D, C, C, L, V? D is for 500, 2 C is for 100 each, L is 50, V is 5, altogether we have 755. What about this one? M, M, D, C. 
M is for 1,000. We have two of them. D is 500 and C is 100. All together gives us 2,600. In some cases, instead of adding the values, we subtract. But the question is, when do we subtract? Let's try using multiple symbols like this one. X, L, I, V. Can you guess the number? We'll see. X, L, May, 40. I, V is 4. So this number is 44. Next one. C, D, X, L. C, D is 400. X, L is 40. So our number is 440. I think by this time you're pretty clear on how to interpret the Roman numerals. Here is an image of the Lady Liberty holding a tablet. Help me figure out what is written on the tablet. This one says July, obviously. IV is 5 minus 1, which is 4. And the multiple letters M, D, C, C, L, X, X, V, I. M is for 1,000, 500 for D, 100 for C, and we have two of them. L is 50 and 2 X's for 10 each. V is 5 and I is 1. So altogether we have 1,776. So apparently this is a date that says July 4, 1776, which marks the Declaration of American Independence from Great Britain. One last important thing. You probably noticed that among the seven letters, letter M has the highest value of 1,000. And if a letter can only be used three times in succession like this, M, 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 the highest value that we can have is only 3,000. But how would you express 4,000, 5,000, 9,000, or other multiple of thousands? This is where you need a bar. A bar is a symbol also known as vinculum. This is used to denote the multiple of thousands. For example, IV is only 4, but if you put a bar or a vinculum, it means multiply by 1,000, so it is now 4,000. V is 5. With a bar, it is multiplied by 1,000, making it 5,000. So if we have 9, Adding a vinculum or a bar over 9, it is now multiplied by 1,000, making it 9,000. So you could write any number as you wish with multiple of thousands just by using a bar or vinculum. So what do you think about this lesson? I hope you've learned something from it. And that would be all for this lesson. And if you find this video useful, hit the like button and share to people you know for this may also be helpful for them. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more educational videos only here on Lessons Made Easy. Once again, this is Teacher Bell saying thanks for watching, stay safe, and see you again in our next lesson.